in the ideal situation, when you feel good, you're at the top of your emotional spectrum. I'm gonna use this cup to demonstrate. You're up here, okay? This is like your first child was born, you're super happy, you just got a promotion, everything's great, all right? Around here is kinda neutral. Maybe you're tired, wanna go to bed, not feeling good or bad, you, life is life, whatever. Down here, seek help because life is going to end by your own hands in the very imminent future. Does that make sense? Okay. Ideally, that's your emotional spectrum. You know, you got all range of reactions to life and, and ways you can feel, right? In certain environments, as kids are raised, their emotional spectrum might be a little different. So I've noticed in the past few weeks, I've been uh, uh, reverting to an emotional spectrum that I grew up with, where up here is neutral and down here is really bad thinking. So everything in life can only get you into the negative and, and max out at neutral spectrum. Okay, that's not very good. Let's, uh, let's talk about that. So I've noticed when someone's giving me a compliment or congratulating me on something or saying, you did a great job, good job, Luke. And I barely even recognize that they've said anything. It doesn't even click. Look, I, oh, hey, yeah, good job. And my, I'm just on to the next thing. And that's exactly the kind of reaction you would have if you don't feel good emotions. Is that a self-esteem issue? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But mostly it's, it's trained behavior for how to embrace the world. Okay? The world has all manner of stuff going on. And there's all different kinds of ways to react to that. You can feel good. It's okay to feel happy. You have to train yourself in the situation that I'm talking about, where your happy is neutral. You have to train yourself to feel good. You have to put those those reactionary feelings into your brain and then force yourself to follow them when good things happen. This isn't like training a psychopath to not be a psychopath. This is training a person who, who through whatever kind of life path is damaged in some way to not be damaged anymore, to heal, to experience the full spectrum of human emotion and experience. When someone congratulates you, you should feel good. Feel good about yourself. You did a good job. Yeah, yes, success, nice. And I noticed that these past few weeks when people bring something up positive about myself and I don't go, yeah, <laughs> I just brush it aside. That should tell you something if you're similar in any way. That should tell you that maybe you're distracted by something. Maybe you're distracted by something that hasn't been solved or worked through. Maybe there's something negative going on in your thinking pattern that you, you haven't quite fixed. Maybe there's an annoyance in your life that you, you need to put attention to. Whatever it is, you deserve to feel happy. <laughs> you deserve to feel good when someone gives you congratulations, when you're experiencing something good in life. You deserve to have a healthy range of emotions. There's nothing wrong with feeling down. If you're sad, cry. Do it. It's healthy. Good. If you're feeling really low, please reach out for help. Okay? The pain is temporary. You can get through this. But don't live your life in such a way that up here is just getting by. Is just neutral. That's no way to live. That's a terrible life. You're going to look back and be so frustrated. You're gonna look back and feel so much regret for the time when you could have been happy. And instead you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm maxed out on emotion right now. I am neutral. Because I never allowed myself to feel congratulated or like I'm doing well or that where I'm at is a good place. Really look at if you're addicted to the negative. Can you turn that around? Of course. 
Do you want to be addicted to the negative? Ah, interesting question. Because if you can answer that, then suddenly negative could be turned around to happy. Think of, think of people who complain about things and it makes them super happy. You could say they're just addicted to the negative, but also you can make radio shows out of that. There are so many YouTube channels of people just complaining about stuff and then they laugh it off. Maybe that's their happy. Like, examine what makes you happy. What would it take for you to feel good? And then do that thing and feel good when that happens. I'm out doing a hobby. I'm out doing something fun and I'm just baseline. I'm not on any drugs. I'm not on SSRIs. I'm not depressed. I'm just baseline. That is a mental habit that I grew up with that I have to train myself out of. That I have to remember, oh, wait, wait, wait. I can feel good. I can give myself permission to feel good in this situation. Do the same for yourself. That's all I got right now. I, I just noticed that pattern in myself and I'm working to turn that around because that hasn't always been the case. And when I first recognized that, I did what I could to fix that. And, and recently I, I've been doing that again. And I don't, I don't wanna live my life that way. I don't wanna be a person who never feels good. So I'm going to do what I can to turn that around. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And if I may.